Hi there, hey this is 30 6 John and today we're going to be loading up some 308 Winchester. Uh, we'll be using my uh, trusty Ruger Scott rifle. We're going to be using uh, some uh, a new one new powder and one uh, powder I've used for a long time and uh, get some chronograph data results. So keep watching and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Alright so let's talk about uh, our load data. The powder we're going to be using is uh, IMR 4064. Uh, I haven't really used this powder much at all lately, but it is a standard for a 308. Other powder is Winchester 748. I have used this for a lot for 308. Works pretty good. Um, our bullets we're going to be using today. Our Sierra 150 grain Pro Hunters. These are uh, flat based uh, standard Spitzer style bullets. Our primers, we're using two types of primers. For the IMR 64, 60, I'm sorry, the IMR 4064, we're using standard CCI large rifle primers. But for the Winchester 748 ball powder, we're using a Remington 9.5 Magnum rifle powder. Um, just so everyone knows, Winchester ball powder 748 specifies in almost all the load manuals to use a Magnum primer. Uh, in my experience, the 9.5 M Magnum primer gives me really good results in my 308. Uh, let's take a look at these two powders because they are way different. The Winchester 748 is a ball powder. Um, it is a very fine gran granularity. And I'll pour a little bit out right here. And uh, let me move the camera around a little bit. There. You can tell that it is a uh, very fine. The Winchester 4064 is a very granular powder, very coarse, and when you're reloading, especially if you're using a powder thrower or a triple charger, you need to realize that. Uh, let me zoom in here real fast. So this is the this is the IMR 4064 extruded powder. This is the Winchester 748 ball powder. Very fine, very easy to throw uh, using a powder thrower. Uh, the 4064 is very granular. It could uh, it's very coarse. It just sort of jams up in powder throws. You have to be careful with it. But the Winchester 748 powder does need to use a Magnum primer. Alright, do a quick re review here on reloading 308. No big secrets. Lubricate the cases a little bit since they're bottleneck. I just use a little bit of a horny one-shot case lube. I'm just going to do one here just to give an example. Make sure it's fully lubricated. Keep it out of the primer pocket. Okay, you get your decapping die in, shell holder in. Run it up all the way. Make sure the old primer's out. It says after done that you don't have to. Uh, clean the lubrication off, but I do with a rag. That's a case mouth there. If you want to clean the primer pocket, get a little primer pocket cleaning tool. Run it in there. You should get all the... It doesn't have to be spotless. You just want to get the major dirt ash out of the case. Looks good. 
All right, next one, you get your primer in. So, grab your primer. I'm using a Lee Primal tool. Stick it in, right shell holder. Make sure the primer is just below flush. It is. Looks good. Next one, we add our powder charge. I put some of the Winchester 748 powder into, into a cup here. Take a scoop. The load we're using here is my standard deer hunting load of 47.5 grains. The last grain or so, I just trickle that in. 47.5 After that, you want to get your case, your powder funnel Pour the powder in Make sure it's all in, doesn't spill out Good thing about 748, it's very fine powder that doesn't usually uh, get stuck in the funnel. 4064 does. Now you want to change dyes from your de resizing, de crimping dye, I'm sorry, resizing, de capping dye. It's your bullet seating dye. After you screw your die in, put your bullet on top of the case to run it up. Now, at first, you have to adjust. Move the camera up a little bit. This screw up here adjusts your seating depth. So, at the first time you set it up, you want to just go partially up. And uh, I want I'm looking for an overall length of 2.08 inches. So I get my chronometer set to 2.8 inches and keep measuring the case until I uh, get there. This one is set already. It's right on the money. So, but yeah, this up here is how you set your boot bullet seating depth. I don't really use a crimp, uh, so I don't run the die all the way down for a case crimp around the bullet. If you use an auto loader for your 308, you probably want to. Anyhow, this cartridge looks good. Primer pocket or primer is just below flush. Bullet it looks good. Seated in 2.8 inches. Let me finish these loading up, the rest of them, with both powders and uh, head to the range. All right, well, we're back from the range. Uh, pretty successful trip. It was sort of cold and blustery. Um, it was windy, so I only shot 50 yards today. Uh, I shot the Ruger Gunsight rifle, 7.25 inch barrel, 308 Winchester. Temperature was 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, I was using two loads. First load is 150 grain Sierra Pro Hunters, 47.5 grains of Winchester 748 with a Remington 9.5M which is Magnum Primer, cartridge overall length of 2.80 inches, using Winchester cases. Um, four shots at 50 yards made about a, from center to center, that's just about a half an inch, which this is my standard hunting load, so I know that this is this shoots about one inch at, at 100 yards, so that's about right. My velocities were a little different. I actually used two different chronographs, and the average velocity was 25.67 uh, but this past summer I know I chronographed this same load at 26.79 over 100 feet per second difference so I don't know if that's a powder anomaly because it's so cold or the, the, the chronograph was two different chronographs were acting different when it gets cold 
Um, I might do some further experimentation, but I've used the same load for a, the last four or five years. It's been pretty pretty consistent, but I don't really remember chronographing it in the winter time. Anyhow, the other load I used was a 150 grain, same bullet, 150 grain Sierra Pro Hunter, but with 44.0 grains of IMR 4064. I'm using a CCI 200 large rifle primer, same cartridge overall length of 2.80 inches, Winchester cases. Um, 50 yards, I did call this one here, I knew it was off as soon as I pulled the trigger. The next three shots, uh, or three of the shots, just one big rag got hole. That's pretty accurate, it seems like a little bit more accurate than uh, this, uh, the 748 powder. The velocity was actually pretty slow on this load, 23.58. Um, even, even if I allow that this load is some hundred, somehow 100 feet per second slower than it should be, this this load is still going to be, looks like, over 200 feet per second slower than the Winchester 748 load. I might work up this load. I think I have room to add more powder. This certainly wasn't a max load at all. Um, I pranked this up, but I don't think I'm going to equal the velo velocity of the Winchester 748 load. Uh, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, click on subscribe and uh, click on the like button there if you want to see more content like this. Everyone have a nice day. Thanks.